Hi, welcome everyone. In this session today, we are going to start a new and a very interesting chapter. It is living world. When we say the term living world, who are living in this world? We are, right? Yes. So, along with us, plants and animals are also living. So, living world comprises of living things. Not only living things children, living world comprises of non-living things also. So, in this chapter, we are going to learn what are living things and what are non-living things. The word environment is very familiar to us. Of course, we all are a part of environment. And the things around us like hills, forests, rivers, insects, soil, light and birds all are a part of environment. Mainly environment shows two types of things, living beings and non-living beings. Living beings have life and they show living characteristics. Non-living beings do not have life, so they cannot show living characteristics. Look here, human beings, plants, animals, insects, all these are living beings because they have life. Now look into a picture over here, chair, fan, pen, toys, all these things do not have life. So, these are non-living things. Now, we will see one more example. If we take raw groundnuts, they have living components. It means, if we plant it, it grows into a plant. So, raw groundnuts are living things. On the other hand, if we see fried groundnut, once they are fried, a living component destroyed. It is non-living thing now. All living beings in this environment shows certain common characteristics. They are growth, respiration, eating food, movement, excretion, response to stimulus and reproduction. These are various characteristics shown by living beings. Now, we will see these common things in detail. First characteristic is all living beings made up of cells. Observe these pictures. Cell is the basic unit of any living being. For example, if you see human body, human body made up with trillions of cells. Similarly, all living beings made up with cells. Whereas, non-living beings made up with atoms and molecules. Second characteristic is, all living beings shows respiration. Respiration is nothing but breathing. In case of humans, we, we breathe in oxygen and breathes out carbon dioxide. Lungs are the special organs that are responsible for respiration. So, lungs are called respiratory organs. If we see, plants take carbon dioxide from the air with the help of small openings called stomata that are present on lower surface of the leaves and gives out oxygen. In this way, all living beings involves in respiration, whereas non-living things, they do not show respiration. Third characteristic is all living beings eat food. Living beings perform many activities daily like carrying loads, cutting, hunting like this. Look here, elephant lifts the loads, bullocks carry the loads. So to do any kind of work, living beings need energy. This energy comes through the food they eat. Now we will see how plants prepare its food. Each part of the plant has specific work to do. So, plants also need food, right? Yes, plants prepare its own food by themselves. So, plants are called autotrophs. Leaves of the plant contains a green color pigment called chlorophyll. This chlorophyll absorbs energy from the sun and carbon dioxide from the air. Now, roots absorbs water and minerals from the soil gives these materials to the leaves through the stems. So, with the help of all these materials, food is prepared in the leaves. This process is called photosynthesis. During this process, glucose is produced. Glucose is a food for the plant and also oxygen is released. This oxygen is taken up by the humans for breathing. But there are certain plants that do not prepare their own food. They depend on insects for the food. Observe in the picture below, Drosera nephanthus, these are called insectivorous plants because they depend on insects for their food. 
Now we will see how animals get food. Animals are called heterotrophs. Heteros means others. Animals do not prepare their own food. For food they depend on other animals and plants. All animals do not eat same type of food. For instance, look here. Few animals eat only plants and plant products. They are called herbivores. Examples are rabbit, elephant, etc. These are called herbivores. Few animals eat other animals. They are called carnivores. Examples are lion and tiger. Lion and tiger are called as carnivores. Animals that eat both plants and animals are called omnivores. Examples of omnivores are dog, cat, bear, etc. Even human beings comes under omnivores. So by this we must understand that all living beings require food for survival. Whereas non-living beings do not require food because they don't have life. So far we have seen three characteristics shown by the living beings. We will continue rest of the lesson in our next video. If you like this video, please click a like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.